This video is about solving simple differential equations. This uh, format. First step: remember you isolate the dy by dx. Then you will multiply by dx both sides, so that you will get the dy equals f of x dx. Then both sides you will do integral. Integral of dy, you will get the y equals integral of f of x dx. Solve for y. Now let's talk about some more facts. e to the x plus c, we can write down a times e to the x power. Both a and c are constant. So. For e to the x plus c power, we can separate like、uh, e to the x power times e to the c power. Let's make、uh, a equals e to the c power, so that we can write down e to the x plus c equals e to the x times、uh, a. Rewrite this one. It's a times e to the x power. For natural log x plus c, we can write down this way. Still, we will make、uh, a equals e to the c power. Then we take、uh, natural log both sides. You will get the natural log of a. Equals natural log of、uh, e to the c power. Here is the formula. We know log base a to the a x power equals x. So we have natural log、uh, e to the x power equals x. This one you can get、uh, c here. Natural log of、uh, a. Therefore. Natural log x plus c. I can write down natural log x plus、uh, natural log of、uh, a, so that I can do natural log of、uh, a times、uh, x. Let's、uh, solve for y. Before we get started,、uh, let's、uh, over some more formula. We know the a to the log base a of x power. You will get the x. Therefore, if you have a e to the natural log of x equals x, ten to the common log of x equals x. If you have a Log base a to the a x power equals x. So natural log of e to the x power equals x. Common log ten to the x power equals x. Try to remember this、uh, formula for logarithm. So for the first one. We will take a natural log both sides. You will get the natural log e to the y's power equals natural log f of x plus c. According to this formula, you can get the y equals natural log f of x plus c. Second question. Natural log y equals f of x plus c. You will take a power both sides, make e as the base, so you get the e to the natural log of y equals e to the f of x plus c. According to this formula, you will get y equals e to the f of x. Times e to the c power. We can make e to the c power as a, so we get the a times e to the f of x power.
that's uh, y equals. This video is about uh, solving simple differentiator equations. This form. For guided practice one, find the general solution to the following equations. Look at the A. The step for you to solve this uh, simple differentiated equations, uh, you will get uh, dy equals f of x uh, dx. Turn into this form, then you can solve. Therefore, for A, you will move 2 over x to the right side. Isolate this uh, dy by dx equals square root of x minus uh, 2 over x. Then both sides you will multiply by dx. So dy equals square root of x minus uh, 2 over x dx. Then we do integral both sides you will get the y equals for square root of x you will change into x to the one half power then you will use the power rule you will get uh, one half or plus one is a uh, three over two then x three over second power so you will get the 2 over 3 because uh, you make uh, this 2 to the top then times x square root of x because for x to the 3 over second power you can write down x 1 plus 1 half therefore you will get the x times uh, square root of x so we get uh, 2 over 3 x times the square root of x minus 2 that's the coefficient 1 over x will be natural log of uh, x then plus uh, c this will be the solution to a in the domain for this uh, equation that is x greater than zero therefore we can rewrite y equals 2 over 3 x square root of x minus 2 natural log of x plus uh, c let's go to b so we get the dy equals cosine x plus uh, sine 2x dx multiply by dx both sides then you will do integral both sides you will get the y equals for integral cosine x will be sine x plus integral sine 2x will be negative or cosine 2x then don't forget 1 over 2 then plus uh, c reorganize you will get the sine x minus 1 half cosine 2x plus uh, c this will be the general solution to B. Let's go to C. Same thing. Multiply dx uh, both sides. You will get the dy equals e to the 3x power plus 4 dx. Then we will do the integral both sides. You will get the y equals e to the 3x don't forget 1 over 3 plus 4x plus c. We organize y equals 1 over 3 times e to the 
3x power plus 4x plus 6. Now let's go to D. For the D part, you will get the dm equals 3t squared t to the third power minus 4 dt. For this part, we will use a substitution. For the substitution, u equals if you have a fraction normally the denominator will be the u so we have a u equals t to the third power minus four then du equals three t square dt that you need to figure out dt. dt equals divided by 3t squared both sides get the du over 3t squared. Remember when you do the substitution, only should you figure out this u equals, but also you need to figure out this dt equals. Therefore, we have a 3t squared over t to the third power minus 4 dt equals, this will be u, 3t squared, dt will be du over 3t squared. Then we reduce, you will get uh, 1 over u times uh, du. You need to substitute back uh, here. dm equals 1 over u du. Then we will do the integral both sides. You will get the m equals natural log of uh, u plus c. Since u equals here, we need to substitute back natural log of t to the third power minus 4 plus c. This will be the general solution to the problem. Let's go to e. For this e, you will get the dy equals t square root 25 or minus t square dt. Still, we need to do the substitution for this part. We will make uh, u equals 25 or minus t square. Remember, if you have a uh, denominator, normally we make a denominator equals u, then du equals negative 2t dt. You need to figure out this uh, dt equals du over negative 2t. Therefore, for this part, t over square root of 25 minus t squared dt to the substitution. This is a square root of u t times du over negative 2t. Reduce equals negative 1 half 1 over square root of u du. Then this is dy. So both sides, we will do integral. You will get the y equals negative one half. One over square root of u, we can change into u to the negative one half power. Therefore, integral u to the negative one half power, you will get uh, negative one half or plus one is one half u to the one half power. 
jump this、uh, two to the top, you will get、uh, two squared of、uh, u. So times、uh, two squared of u plus、uh, c. Yeah, here is plus c. Then we simplify. You will get the negative of square root of u plus c. We will substitute back now. You have a、uh, u equals twenty five minus t square. Therefore, we will get、uh, negative of square root twenty five minus t square plus c. This is the y equals. This will be the general solution to the question.